This is Roman and it's Marketing Watch House and welcome back on my channel. This is the second part of our, um, our beginning, of the beginning of the Google Ads Python API series tutorial. And what I want to show to you is that I hope, I really, really hope that you all managed to complete the, all the steps in the first uh, tutorial, which are like hundreds of them yeah you need to get the developer api token the google ads uh, access token the refresh token uh you need to complete the form you need to have an uh, uh and this and that and so on and so on and so on but after you did it believe me you're gonna have a key to the heaven like the, to the most powerful automation tool for the google ads that ever exists at least i think so so what I wanted to show you here is uh, actually the two things. The first thing is that I modified the GitLab project I showed in the first series. So now it looks nice and it's way, way easier to work with. So first of all, let me show you where you can actually find it. Uh, the Google Ads Tutorials repository, and it's here. I haven't finished the readme file yet, but if you push the clone or you can download a zip, this project is going to be ready for you to just take and go. So there is a new file structure, which I'm going to show you inside the pie chart just for simplicity. So let me just collapse everything. Just as, in the, just as before, I have the git ignore, readme requirements into my main, in the, inside my main folder, nothing actually changed there. Besides, I guess uh, I've added a few more things in the git ignore. So even if you need to push this to any repository, you don't actually push your credentials, which is extremely important. So I added in a file uh, folder config that is going to be some things that I'm going to add inside my project. I don't know the default campaign name, default uh, ads name, default IDs. And here is my default test ID that I use to download the data. You can put your ID here. Uh, just don't forget that it's going to be inside quotes, double quotes, and with no slashes uh, and dashes and everything. So there is a credential example uh, folder and there is a credential folder. You don't see the credentials for folder on the GitHub. You need to create, you, uh, create this folder by yourself and you need to put the Google Ads YAML file there, which you need to fill exactly as I have it in the first video with developer token, with the login, login customer ID, which is your MCC ID then you need to put client ID, client secret, and refresh token there. Uh, and then when you, when you will launch any script inside your folder, uh, the script will go there inside the Google Ads YAML file. And if this file doesn't exist, you will gonna have an error saying that, hey, you need to fix that because like you don't have a file there. So this should make uh, like the first basic check if anything goes wrong. And another thing that I've added here is the resources that contains the config data. And then I here, um, I initiate config in, uh, inside the, through the JSON library. So what I need to do here, I think I need to do to, to, to add JSON. No, I think JSON is actually installed, sorry. So, uh, I, so what I added here is I created a config which is actually just a dictionary that contains everything you put here. So if you want to put here, I don't know, uh, my test name and then name, name, uh, then if you launch the file, if you launch, sorry, comma, uh, and go here and say, for example, print config and then my test name and run this file or any other file, you will have, you see, name, name there. So it's very easy to save the configs and settings and whatever with this kind of structure. So let's keep it as it was. Okay, that's great. And another thing that I've added is a new models folder that contains two functions that kind of checks if your account ID is correct. And if it's not correct, uh, it will throw an error and there is a description here, but you don't really need to look at this. Uh, there is also another me micros to currency folder, which is not used right now. So what I wanted to show you, show you right now is that there is a test Google ads access folder. And here's the script that takes first 50 keywords from your account and just show it 
to you. So if I run it right now with my current credentials, it will give me the first keywords in the output. So what I do here, you can put any customer ID here you want. And if you put a wrong one, then the script will check this and say that, hey, this is not correct. Uh, I'm going to use the default one. But if you fill it with the correct one, for example, this one, which is 10 digits customer ID, then there's going to be a mistake because there is no access to that ID. So uh, if you keep it blank, the script will take the default account ID you have in a config JSON. And how, you, how can I do that? I just create this variable that I say, choose account ID from the customer ID I define on top of the script or config.get test account ID. And config is exactly the config I use here. So whatever is there, I just take it. So the thing I want to show you is that you can, uh, I'm going to do create more tutorials, but uh, before I do that, you actually can take any, any tutorial from the examples from this library. For example, uh, we can take, I don't know, uh, what can, can be cool. Mm, okay. Let's do campaign management and then say add campaign draft. What I'm going to do, I'm going to say raw file, then copy this, go to my PyCharm project, create new file, uh, test.py, don't name test.py, just never. And then I have an example of the file. All I need to do is to go to main function. I'm not going to use anything uh, from the console. I don't need this. I don't need this. I don't need Google Ads client because I have my uh, how to guts client. So all I need to do is say from SRC import gets client and replace. Um, sorry, I am a com in a completely wrong file here. Test.py. This is why you don't never call it test.py. So here I say from SRC import guts client and I just replace it with guts client. Then I need a customer ID which again, I can say on the top, I say uh, customer ID equals something. And then I need base campaign ID, say campaign ID, campaign ID something. And then just fill this in and then fill this in. And that's all you need to do. And this is script. Uh, you just need to uh, read what the script actually does. This is the description. And um, then you have everything set it up to launch the script with only these two lines. No, nothing else is actually needed. And uh, just be careful when you do any mutate, change or anything inside your account. Don't forget to fill these two and you can, you can go. So uh, just as a reminder, I'm always welcome any questions or any tasks you want to do. For example, you want to see how this can be done or that can be done. Then I will do a video and because it's kind of difficult for me to just to come up with ideas. So I'm very, very like when you like leave comments and so on. Besides, if you have any questions or you need any assistance or help with your own project, write me on LinkedIn and I will always able, I will always try to help you subscribe. Push like and see you soon, guys. Bye-bye.